President Donald Trump asks Israel's prime minister to hold off on building more Jewish settlements. It's the first time the president has addressed the issue. It came during Benjamin Netanyahu's visit to the White House. Wyatt Goolsby was at the press conference and joins us on the North Lawn. Wyatt. Lauren, one day after Valentine's Day, the president promises lots of love to the Israeli prime minister, but it wasn't all hugs and kisses. After weeks of dancing around the issue of Israeli settlements, President Trump made a bold request to the leader of the strongest democracy in the Middle East. I'd like to see you hold back on settlements for a little bit. Uh, we'll uh, work something out, but I would like to see a deal be made. I think a deal will be made. Let's try it. Doesn't sound too optimistic, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> a good negotiator. That's the art of the deal. Despite different approaches to achieving peace in the Middle East, President Trump and Prime Minister Netanyahu reaffirmed their unbreakable bond. Yet the president held back from supporting a two-state solution, a longtime U.S. policy. He says he wants Israelis and Palestinians to negotiate a deal directly. Netanyahu says there are conditions. Palestinians must recognize the Jewish state. They have to stop calling for Israel's destruction. Peace in the region, the overarching goal of today's meeting. The big topics include Iran and the threat it poses, defeating ISIS, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and Trump's support for moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. The Israelis are going to have to show some flexibility, which is hard. It's hard to do. The administration is also talking to Palestinians. CIA Director Mike Pompeo secretly meeting last night with Mahmoud Abbas at his headquarters in the West Bank. With all of the challenges, one area where both Trump and Netanyahu agree, fighting terrorism. Under your leadership, I believe we can reverse the rising tide of radical Islam. And in this great task, as in so many others, Israel stands with you. Palestinian officials are worried they will be sidelined by this administration, which is seen as very pro-Israel. Pompeo's trip may help quell that fear, although the White House has not directly addressed their concern. Lauren. Why, Prime Minister Netanyahu denounced Iran, saying the U.S. and Israel are going to make sure that a known supporter of terrorism doesn't acquire a nuclear weapon. Did they talk about policy? How are they going to do that? Yes, Lord, Netanyahu says President Trump has done a good job of contacting regional Arab countries about deterring Iran. Trump seems surprised, telling the prime minister he wasn't yet ready to reveal that. But the president says it is true. And they are working with a number of other countries on the Iran issue. Lauren. Thank you. Wyatt Goolsby at the White House.